Hello, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 23rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun the last 48 hours. The plasma filament we were watching last video did snap back into the sun. Visible here, 304 angstroms, bottom left hand corner there snaps back into and connecting with earth facing sunspot big sunspot region earth facing right now having a look at the last 48 hours incoming another look at that plasma filament interacting with the sunspot region outgoing we do have quite a bit of activity as there was a coronal mass ejection ejected towards mercury plasma filament there erecting from the southern hemisphere a lot going on our sun in the last two days point out all of the activity the last 48 hours on our star amazing images here brought to you by solar dynamics observer observatory mixed with daily events worldwide and thank you for tuning in all these sunspot regions interacting with each other and plasma filaments M-class solar flares, four of them to talk about in the past two days. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, you can see a plasma filament there, and as well, the flashes in those bright sunspot regions are the M-class solar flares. Most of them were outgoing. We did have that one Earth-facing today. And as well, in the Northern Hemisphere, big coronal hole, and the southern hemisphere coronal hole has collapsed after that plasma filament snapped back into the surface of the sun. Amazing images here. 171 angstroms. Right now there are eight sunspot regions. I believe there's about 40 sunspots altogether right now. Having a look at those sunspot regions in motion. Quite a few black holes on our sun right now. A little zoom in and you can see them in fluid motion here. Really sped up time lapse. Current space weather conditions we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected from the most recent M-class solar flare. Solar winds are coming in at 374 kilometers per second right now. And that's a little more average than what we've seen in the last little bit. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see there, three M-class solar flares, one of them being moderate. The other three were minor. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated to a KP3 today. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their spiral for the next few days. No major space weather events thwarted our way. Looks like one will be missing underneath Earth in the long range 27th. Having a look here at the ISPWA space prediction spiral, there's that CME taking off towards Mercury. As well, we've got a possible chance for Aurora tonight across Canada. This is the probability for Auroras tonight. Minor geomagnetic, geomagnetic instability. Right over into Europe. Having a look at Alaska 3, this is showing our sun. A safe way to look at our sun and all of its cosmic energy leaving. As well, we're looking at Venus and Mercury in transit. As there's been an alignment over this last little while, there's quite an epic alignment right now with our solar system. Once in a lifetime, actually. And there's even bigger ones to come. Having a look at earthquakes past 24 hours, average just under 200 earthquakes, according to USGS. But it looks like we've got multiple deep earthquakes all across the planet right now. As you can see, all those elevated rings. So you're going to hear Kermadec Islands 4.4. That was pretty deep. As well as South America, 177 kilometer depth, 233 there, Peru. As well, deep earthquake there in Honduras. 
minor activity, northeast Puerto Rico, North American plate, pretty quiet, no major swarms to talk about. Aleutian Islands, 4.7 here, Akutan, Alaska. Activity south of Kamchatka, the Kur Kuril Islands, and as well North Japan. Earthquake here, Papua New Guinea, 5.3 magnitude, 5.5 here in the Carlsberg Ridge off the Arabian Plate, and as well a 5.0 Iran. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours, Southwest Indian Ridge, 5.6 earthquake there. Pretty rare place for an earthquake. Activity from the Antarctic straight up into the European Plate. Scotia Plate. South Sandwich Islands reporting a 4.6 at the Michael Volcano. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We're not seeing our regular deep earthquakes in the Fiji region. And we're not seeing regular earthquakes throughout the Northwest Pacific. So heads up, still in an earthquake warning time. As things are building up along the West Coast. And all across the North American Plate. Heads up, everybody, and thank you for watching. This has been your earthquake update for May 23rd, 2024, and this is looking at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, air quality forecast. This is brought to you by our 49 volcanoes active and erupting across the planet. Multiple plumes coming out of Central America, Mexico, and as well, uh, Peru, there may have been a large eruption, maybe even a new volcano awakening, northern Peru, as well, lots of SO2 coming out of Popocatetl, the volcano in Mexico, most active volcano on the planet, overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, and Europe. Peculiar big plume coming out of South Africa. And then overlooking in Japan, Micronesia, Indonesia. Multiple eruptions this week. Now I wanted to share here with you this severe weather that's still breaking out day after day across the United States and up into Canada. Canada's safe today, but man, there are some big systems racing across the United States right now. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Quite possibly dozens of tornadoes touching down today. This is the most recent satellite imagery. Big low coming in off the Pacific Northwest. And that's been grinding the last couple days, sending waves of moisture Mixing with the big high pressure ridge and as well all the tropical moisture coming out of the Gulf. Just creating the perfect scenario for these monstrous supercells and possible tornadoes. So heads up, tornado watches and warnings are going out across seven states tonight. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. And thank you for watching. Please share this with your friends and family. If you think you that they may be affected... And if you think these storms are coming, please tune in to your local radio. Big system there heading across Alabama. And as well, sustaining low pressure system coming out of central Texas. And then supercells racing across the hot desert. Wow. Big systems. And I'm sure very large sized hail associated with all of these systems. Even across the southeastern United States as that system rolls across Alabama into Georgia and then into Florida. And the Carolinas are going to get it over the next 24 hours as well. Much love, everybody, and thank you for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Comment. Tell me why you love the do. All right, let's have a look at world weather forecast here. We still have big system grinding up into India, eastern India, and Bangladesh. Also, 
possible tropical system here coming for the northern Philippines. But all in all, monsoon season is in full effect for Southeast Asia through Malaysia. No major typhoons or cyclones here. Forecast with windy.com. This is an app you you all can get. Get your forecast on the spot. Or you can see it collaborated here with daily rents worldwide. Now yesterday there was a typhoon forecast in the northwest Pacific. And now today there is not. So a lot can change in a 24 hour period. Having a look over North America. Strong system is going to be trying to break through across North America into Canada. It will be sent northward up into Hudson Bay. Next system comes in for the 27th. Another Colorado low. And then the low pressure system start squeezing in off the west, uh, west coast of the United States and BC. Could see some moisture coming to the drought stricken areas. Overlooking Europe, Africa. No major systems or extreme weather events forecasted for you. Just some regular spring rains. Thank you to everybody watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. And happy that you enjoy the content shared here with Daily Events Worldwide. Keeping aware and prepared... Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.